This is our short course on how to disassemble a Seagate free agent backup disk or external USB disk. So you can see that's a unit there. I'm going to use these tools. Uh, and the nut of the uh, solution is this. The gray pieces on the top and the bottom are actually separate pieces. They're not just different colors. They're, uh, it's actually a different piece of plastic. So gray uh, plastic on the top, gray plastic, silver plastic, whatever on the bottom. These white panels now uh, are three separate pieces. So what you want to use is uh, a credit card or something like that. Uh, I've got a little tool I'm going to use instead and I'm just going to pry it, put it in between the joint here and slide it along. And um, now I've done this with another one before and it's pretty Boy, they're, they're in there good. So uh, what I'm going to use actually is um, after I get it started with the plastic tool, I'm going to use, start, I'm going to move to a uh, small slotted and I'm really going to have to jam it on the corners. It's really, really tough. Uh, and then I'm going to have to leave it pried open with uh, really anything that's big. So this is big and fat. I'm going to jam it in. So I'll take some uh, additional pictures as we go. There we go. So you can see I've got this tool jammed in there and uh, now I'm going to jam a screwdriver in. Oh, you can see that there's a... Uh, clip right there and uh, there's going to be another one down here and several parts are uh, further around so I'm going to jam a larger screwdriver in and there we go you can see I've used this smaller screwdriver and slid it along and to pop these out so now I'm going to flip this over and just keep working my way around now you can see I've got this pried open along here and I'm just going to keep working my way around just keep sliding a screwdriver or something else around so I'm just going to lift this up Notice the inside, yep, there are four stands, well, three, one, two, three, and uh, that's really what's uh, clipping the sucker in, in addition to the, uh, the, um, uh, the clips that are on the outside edge, as you can see here. So there's a stand. Okay, so now we just have to uh, take a screwdriver and pull uh, the guts out. Pretty easy. Okay, so let's just lift this up. There, it just comes out. That's all the garbage now. Well, effectively garbage. And, uh, and we just have to take the screws out from the edges and pop the sucker. As usual, that means that these little rubber braces pop off. Let me just pop that off. There you go. You can see the screws are in there. Take those out and everything and will... Those two out that I showed you already. There's another one. Let me just pop that rubber off. There we go. Take a screwdriver and I'll just unscrew that nut or bolt and... Uh, Okay, well, in here, you can see that there's still one more little rubber cover to take off. So now that that cover's off, you can see plainly that there's another stand here with a little rubber uh, connector or uh, cover on it, which is really a shock absorber. Anyway, when you take that off, you'll see it's actually not bolted to anything. So if I flip it over, you'll see in the bottom here, right there, that's that piece, and it's not bolted to anything. So basically, that's it. What you have to do now is lift this drive up from this end and disconnect it from the uh, serial port right there. The uh, SATA port, I should say. So let's just lift it up and pull it out. Just like that. There we go. And there's your disc. So this whole thing is now fully disassembled. There's the drive, cover, heat shield, another cover, tiny little circuit board. You can use this disc for anything your heart desires. Just a standard SATA disc. Alrighty, that's all for now. Be sure to check URTech.ca for more. Bye-bye.